Welcome to the Bondi Scrapper channel. Uh, this is part three of the extremely long-winded Bondi Scrapper faffs about and rambles on in his workshop series. Uh, it was a very long video that not even I could bear to watch, so I've cut it down into bite-sized chunks. Uh, please enjoy it. Bye. That must be our lot. More bicycle components. Just found this in the big tub of things to do later. This is an easy one. Don't know why I didn't do this earlier. Maybe I thought this stem was worth something. But um, that's it. Take the reflector off. Let's see, is this anything special? Minimum. JD. No, I don't think it's a special stem. I think it's just some generic thing. Anyway, that can go into extruded aluminium as well because that pipe's extruded and well, that's probably cast, but, you know, they'll let it go. This thing here is a, uh, a mounting bracket for a sink in a bathroom. And uh, stainless steel bolts into alloy, there and there. And uh, dissimilar metals have done their thing, and they are well and truly jammed in there. So I'm just going to grind them out. Something just fell down. Watch it. That can go in the stainless steel bin. Alloy, cast. Uh, just found this. This is a uh, heatsink of a laptop. Well, not a laptop, a desktop computer. Nice big chunk of copper there. I have actually cut these copper pipes off already many moons ago and then thrown it in the bottom given up because I didn't know what I was doing but I've just given it a few taps from the side there and that copper's come off nicely so uh, first of all I hit it with the punch and now, now that it's moved we should be able to gotcha So this has still got some copper going through it, um, which I guess I could try and punch it through, see what happens, but uh, at the moment that's still a copper aluminium radiator. Uh, got that nice chunk of copper, and a bit of copper pipe, so they'll go in as, let's call it, dirty copper, copper with bits of solder on it I guess. Let's see what happens when I do this. I don't know. I don't know what'll happen. Put that there. Get a punch. Line it up. Oh yeah. I think. Might help if I hit it properly. Or not. It's not moving. I don't think. Oh yeah, it's, look, it's coming out that side. All I've got to do is force it through. So what happens if we just try and flick? Oops. Well, it didn't come apart at the end. I hoped it would. Well, it's kind of, you know, I mean... Is it worth it? Of course it isn't. Not from a monetary point of view, but is it worth it from a point of view of you're not going to beat me? Hell yeah. 
That's a bit useless, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, that probably wasn't the brightest move. That just painted it over, made it worse. Yeah, that wasn't a good move. So, uh, no marks for smarts and smarts there. It's a bit dumb. There's the little chisel. <laughs> and we'll just put the chisel straight through the side of the alloy. Um, so that one we'll just go uh, call it quits on. I'm, I'm retreating in defeat, I think is the expression. Uh, I'm going to take some tools back. I've got one more idea. Uh, so what I'm just going to do is just kind of twist that. I'm going to twist that bit off and not liking my chances here at all. Oh, hold right on. Two. Let's see if we can do another two. Two layers, two fins, what are you going to call them? Two, two more, maybe one. So as I said, this is not financially sensible if you're in scrapping for the money, but you know, it's a bloody machine, it's a piece of equipment, you can't let it beat you. Of course, the other thing is, I can afford to do this at the moment because we're in lockdown here and you've got nothing better to do. Because you've got to stay indoors. Stay at home, except for essential, essential trips into the, into the shops. Our Premier Gladys has spoken. Good on you, Gladys. How are we going here? Two, we try two. Instead of just doing one shoot at a time. <laughs> no, 
bit off, bit off more than I could chew there. Can't chew on two. And of course, all these leaves are ridiculously sharp, so you know, you've got to be a bit careful you don't cut yourself. Got it out, yay! Let's see if we can do the other one. So, lightly grab it, give it a bit of a twist. Side to side, yep, out it comes. Hooray, hooray! God, never thought that one would end, did we? Hoi vey. Let's just make sure there's no hidden iron in there, no. So, we've got our aluminium and we've got our bits of copper. Let's clean up. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing me butcher all those items. And uh, part four is coming up, and I believe that might be some uh, some door locks. So I bet you're going to be waiting with bated breath for that. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.